Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Check description box below for three free months and 85% off. Oh golly gee, I love Disney. I am totally 100% at Disney World right now. I mean, can you see? This is for real. I am at Disney. What was I saying? And since I love Disney so much, and I love crafting, I really wish there was some kind of crafty Disney box for adults. I wonder if it's real. Oh, where did this come from? Is that a Disney subscription box? <laughs> not sponsored, not affiliated. <laughs> In all seriousness, I am a Disney fan, except I'm not the uh, 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 the intense ones, is what I'm trying to say. I know my Disney, but I don't know my Disney. Does that, does that make sense? As you can see today, we have a Disney subscription box. This box auto renews every three months, so it's not a monthly subscription box. Right off the bat, I love the design and the theme of this box, which is Disney villains. We have everyone from Hades, Ursula, Maleficent, and uh, that's why I, that, that's why I have to say I'm, I know my Disney, but not so much. What's her name? I don't remember her name. Does she even have a name? Let me know in the comment section below who is your favorite Disney villain. Mine personally is Jafar. I love Jafar because Iago. And yes, these are Disney licensed products and it's a collaboration with one of my favorite subscription boxes, which is Sophie and Toffee. So just to be very transparent, I am a huge fan of Sophie and Toffee's subscription box, but this has never stopped me from being honest or giving constructive criticism. The idea of this box is that we should be able to make open bezels and shaker charms. All the items are official Disney licensed. So today we're going to be unboxing, reviewing, and testing out the materials in the subscription box and see whether or not it's worth <coughs> $63 US, which is this much in Canadian. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Don't make me do it. Just click on the subscription and then click on all notifications. Got it? Just to be clear, the actual price of the box is $43.95. But because of licensing and issues with shipping, they had to add an extra $19 for the shipping process and for the customs and for the licensing. I'm just putting it out there. So we're going to look at this box as its original price, which is about $43. Time to see what we get inside. I don't need it. I have to say, I know I'm putting you grains in suspense. The feel of the box is really nice. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. Very nice. Oh, very, very nice. What you looking at? And it is quite heavy. All right, actually, should we get a scale? Let's get a scale. That's gonna make it extra fun. All right, don't, don't judge my crusty scale. It's been lovingly used and this box weighs 848 grams. I'll put the conversion of pounds right there. So it is pretty close to one kilo. All right, now for real. Ooh. All right, so the packaging already is really cool. We have meet me on the other side. Who says that? That's what I mean by I'm not a mm. oh. <coughs> oh, that was too much in my throat. So just opening it up, it is absolutely gorgeous. The colors are really pretty. It is definitely a very much so custom box. So now beyond the villains, by the way, the themes of the boxes change depending on which one it is. And if you are interested in a specific box, I believe the villains box, the ending is at the end of this month, end of May. So if it's something you're interested in, I'll leave the link in the description box below. Again, I am not affiliated, not sponsored, but there is a coupon code for you grains. And the coupon code is nerdy3. This is a road, not a racetrack. And this coupon code gives you $3 off of your first box. All right, enough delaying. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, 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 ooh. So the first thing that greets us is the little booklet that tells us the contents of this box. But we like surprises, so. 
So the presentation of the box is absolutely gorgeous thus far and instead of trying to open and carry every like just to carry everything right here I'm gonna set it aside and start looking at each item one at a time with you grades The first set that really stands out is pretty much a display and it's stuck on there That is neat. I haven't seen Sophie and Toffee do this kind of display before so kind of cool It looks like a bunch of potions and different kinds of things. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's my imagination But I think this display is kind of and it seems like from this little batch we're getting different kinds of pigments for the resin since resin is clear Which I'll explain later if you're not sure what that is here We have an opportunity to have villain type colors which are usually associated with greens and purples and, and deep colors And the bottom row we have key rings jump rings and different kinds of things that you can use for jewelry making And again the colors are quite villainous good job on the theme So Sophie and Toffee does get points for the theme and I still do see that there's the Disney affiliation at the bottom of this sheet. Let's take a look at the colors a little more closely. All you grains have no idea how much I love these pieces for jewelry making. I'll explain later. But oh my god, it took me forever to find these when I was first starting. And to avoid any kind of spillage, we have tape wrapped around each one. So... I finally got to undoing the tape off of these containers, even though it is wonderful for making sure that there's no spillage of any kind of glitter. One of the drawbacks is that the container itself is actually pretty sticky. So this is me without any tape. This is the residue from the tape. So yes, we didn't get any kind of spilling of glitter in the box, but the tape itself is making it so that these containers are pretty sticky, which means that when I try to open it, sometimes I might miss my grasp because of the stickiness and I could spill it myself. So right away, Sophie and Toffee, if you can find a different way to seal these little babies without making them extra sticky, that would be cool right off the bat. And for those of you who get this box and it is sticky, be extra cautious that you don't do any spillage because of stickiness. All right, enough about packaging. Let's look at the product itself. Wait, which way does it open? Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, make sure you open it from the right direction, which is something I didn't do. So, nice little looking side, that's at the bottom. You saw nothing! The pigment is absolutely gorgeous. It's definitely going to do a great job at coloring your projects. So we're definitely on the right track. Deep purple. We get an array of purples, blues, pinks, and oranges. While some are shinier and some are not. A little more pearlescent. One of the things I want to note is unlike many companies, Sophie and Toffee is not afraid of filling these containers as close to the brim as possible, which does result in some leakage, but better than having it halfway through. So do expect magical fingers. And an equally unimpressive magical desk. And we also get greens, shiny greens, and different kinds of purplish brown or brownish purples. Wine colors. And so far, this as a villains themed color palette, I feel like it does work. I can't think of any other colors at the top of my head that I would need for villains, but I guess we'll see that once I start making the projects. But so far, they get points for the theme colors. Theme colors. Theme colors! <laughs> Next we have findings. The first one is a kind of clasp that you can put on your bag or backpack. Oh, there it is. And then we have pin backings. Is that not that you can use for either clothes or kinds of bags? Similarly to the first one, you can use these for keychains or your bags, but they're gold color. Very pretty. Then we have these really pretty colored, again, still with the themes of purples and golds and greens and reds. You can see that the colors do match. Thank you for that. And these are pretty much to loop your thing in with the, each other. And then when you loop it, you can hook it on there. My Englishing okay? Probably not. Oh, that's what these are. Ah, now I understand. I understand. That's really neat. When you find out what this is, you're going to be like, Oh, very interesting. Come on, help me. Magnets! Oh my gosh, these are really strong. Here you go. Oh, did you see that? Okay, so here's the distance. It's pulling. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but you can- Oh! Why is it always blurry when that happens? Look, look how strong these magnets are. Oh, yeah. So we have- Oh, it's like magic. As I was saying- <laughs> Oh my gosh, I got so distracted. I'm sorry, 
okay? I'm easily entertained. What are you gonna do about it? You gonna come here and fight me? You could, or you could just give me magnets and keep me occupied for the next hour. Choose magnets. <laughs> so I have to say I am pleasantly and happily surprised. Wait, isn't pleasant happy? I'm surprised and, and happy. And this next one is probably one of my favorite materials and I forgot the name. Probably makes sense if I looked in here. It's not written. But the idea behind this is that you can use either resin or glue and use it behind a flat piece of jewelry, glue it like so, and you can make your necklace or keychain or whatever it is. Don't ask about the googly eye. Just don't ask. I said don't ask. And the fact that they come textured makes it so that there is a stronger adhesion. So this is, this is really cool. Oh, 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 I love mold so much, down to the bottom of my soul. So as I said, the next items that we get are molds. These are silicon bits that are Disney approved and licensed. I can only imagine getting something like this at a Disney store would cost probably an arm and a leg. But we're getting them at Sophie and Toffee here. So that means you can create your own pieces of Disney iconic things as much as you want. Think about that. And again, we have from the theme of villains. I'm going to guess here, because remember, I am not. The intense ones is what I'm trying to say. That kind of Disney fan. Little Mermaid. Snow White. Uh, Maleficent. I want to say Hercules, because we have Hades. I say skeptically with a high-pitched voice. And it is a beautiful quality mold. It's not it's not gross and flimsy, but it is flexible. Love it. Quality is there. You stay over there. Next, I believe this is called a shaker charm piece maker. That was quite the mouthful. And here we have tiny bits and symbols that are going to create into little little bits and pieces of charms so that we can put them into a bigger piece that goes like that. And these are really pretty. I really like the wings. Are these tentacles? I love tentacles for crafts. Get your minds out of the gut. And we have the different spades. I feel like this is probably, oh, there it is. The queen of hearts, potions and whatnot. So this is really cute. I like that. And then here we have the shaker charms that are supposed to be bottles. So we have one that is Maleficent and I'll post the picture of what they're supposed to look like. And this one is, not sure. Okay, Evil Queen, this one. So this here is the Evil Queen. And as I said, this one here is Maleficent. And now we have different kinds of resin. For those of you who don't know, resin is a clear liquid that hardens and becomes like a glassy plastic. There's two main kinds. There's a two-part epoxy resin that takes about six to eight hours to harden, or there's UV slash LED resin that either hardens in sunlight in about half an hour or a UV flashlight in about 10 seconds to one minute. So this here is an epoxy resin that takes part A and part B. And I love the packaging. Even though there's nothing Disney about it, the fact that they're staying on brand and making sure that the packaging reflects the actual product and the actual theme, very much appreciated. I love small details like this. Next, we have a UV resin. This one is branded with Maleficent. This one is for silicon molds made specifically so that it doesn't shrink too much. And then we have a crest crystal English. Please cooperate. Crystal LED, and this is another type of resin. And we have the instructions in the back. Love the packaging. The stickers on this are really nicely printed. Hmm, kudos, Sophie and Toffee. And again, Disney approved, as you can see, and licensed, pretty neat. The reason I say that this box is for adults is because we are using resin, and resin is not something to use for younger people. Gonna keep it at that. Next, we get a shaker oil, and this one has Hades. Oh, that is a really cool nozzle. I've never seen this one before. So the idea of a shaker oil is that you can put it inside a container and then you can shake stuff on site and, and, and it moves. You'll see the pictures and the videos make way more sense than my words today because there's no taki taki from the mouth here. Please. And now for fun inserts and embellishments. We're going to start with this. 
And here, as you can see, we get more inserts in order to be putting them in the little shaker charms. These come in little tentacles, a little the evil apple for Snow White thing, and the very symbols similar to the previous silicon mold, the little one. So this, here, we, could, we could move that one over. Next, I'm pretty excited about these. You grains can see them over here. We have, what are they called again? Where's my English? Bezels. That's the word I was looking for. We have open bezels with different characters from the series. Again, villains. But one of the things that I noticed immediately, because I deal with a lot of bezels, this one is actually branded again by Disney. I know how expensive things are at the Disney store. And the fact that we are getting, again, bezels that are Disney approved, Disney licensed, makes it so that I feel like these, these alone, would be quite expensive from a Disney store. For those of you who are not into the box, there's a high chance that some of these items will be available at the Sophie and Toffee shop, but only after the box is out. So if you want to have the exclusive things to get them right away, this is the way to do it. We have all oh, my boy Jafar. We have Jafar. Cruella. Mm, Maleficent. Ursula. Queen of Hearts. And the Evil Queen. We also get more tiny little bezels. And again, I noticed immediately Disney branded, Disney licensed. As mentioned, this box is a direct collaboration. So you're not getting the fake items. You are getting items that are Disney approved. And these are the metallic charms that we get. Everything from the apple. I don't know why there's lightning. I feel that should belong with Harry Potter though. Oh, Greek mythology. I get it, Hercules. As I said, I am not uh, 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 is the, the intense ones is what I'm trying to say. That kind of thing. It just, it comes slower. And last but not least, we get a sheet of inserts that you can put in your resin pieces. So these are again themed with the same villain's idea, Disney approved. And you can turn these into pins, into bracelets, anything that you want. This is not to be confused for shrink plastic. It is not shrink plastic. Now the biggest question is, does this subscription box have value at $44 US? When I contacted Sophie and Toffee, they told me that pretty much the items that you're getting is 50% off of what they would sell it on the store. In order to do a quick calculation, let's look at the things I know the prices of. The AB resin is about $14. There's gonna be a calculator for you grains right there. This crystal resin alone is $12. Here's our total. And this UV resin is about $6, which brings us to $32 just for the resin. That's it. And there's no way you can convince me that these molds and these emblems and molds, all of this pigment, metal backings, jewelry, oil, bezels, film, metal, and clay inserts, you can't tell me that these are only $12. Impossible. So in terms of the value of items that you're getting in there, 100% you are getting more than the $44 that you're paying for initially. Now, the question is shipping. Yes, it is quite expensive. However, I do understand that this has nothing to do with Sophie and Toffee and more about the licensing and the shipping, so they really can't do anything. But even at that price, you're still getting a bargain if, first of all, you're a Disney fan, and secondly, you're into that kind of crafts. What kind of crafts, you say? Let's make one. And so for the first project, I'm going to do just one of the emblems of the main, main, main villain characters. English. You've betrayed me today, I've given up. Just, let's go with it. So I'm going to make the rose a reddish pink color and then the maleficent -y type things, I'm gonna go with purple. I'm not going for color precision here, I'm just using the materials we have to see what it looks like together. And I am using a UV light, which is a speedy way to cure resin, makes it harder in about 20 seconds. Oh no, <laughs> good job. Here is the moment of truth of unmolding our piece. And, ooh. Is that an air bubble? No! How did I manage that? Just so we're clear, it's not the mold, it's me. It was the air bubble. So here is the first project. It is a little on the matte 
side, which means you can take the resin again, this time the clear one, put it right on top to make it more shiny. And as you can see from my demonstration, it's not that hard to make it shiny if you want it. Immediately as I'm starting to make the projects, there is one color missing from the pigments. It's not missing, it's just I feel like it would have been great to have it in this theme, and it would have been a yellow or a gold. So if you do have yellow or gold, it would be perfect because we still need it for the shell. And I believe Jafar. One eternity later. Yes, yes. Now, as I wanted to do a second project, I realized for Jafar, I'm missing yellow, as for the Evil Queen, and for Cruella, I'm also missing white, as well as for Ursula. Now, the question is, should you get this box? Obviously, if you're going to look at any kind of subscription box, don't take anyone's word other than the words of the customers. So make sure that you do go on Instagram pages, on Facebook pages. If you see happy customers and actual comments there, that is a good sign. But if you don't see any comments, or happy customers and they have, I don't know, X amount of sub subscribers, but no interaction, that is bad news. As someone who already has white, yellows, and different kinds of colors, I definitely don't think they made this box for absolute beginners because they do have a beginner's box that I would recommend anyone starting with resin to get first. So as someone who does have glitter, because you can mix glitter in with UV resin, that's okay, and who does have resin pigments, I'm okay. So if you do have multiple different colors of glitter, you'll be okay. Let me demonstrate. And so I went ahead and decided to make Cruella as an open bezel to show you that any kind of glitter does work well with UV pigments. And I have to admit there no one's going to convince me that this box doesn't have value based on the simple fact that we get moles. Moles to make infinite amount of Disney charms. Look at me here. This is unprecedented, at least to my knowledge. The fact that we get many opportunities to make different kinds of Disney crafts is absolutely wonderful. And even in this video, I didn't do the shaker bottle things. You can see some of the footage of them making it. And again, you can make infinite amount of these. All right, intermission from ranting. Let's unmold our Cruella. We have to remove the tape, which is quite sticky at this point. Interestingly enough, a piece of the resin came off, but only from the back. I guess we're okay. And here she is. And of course, you can use any of the provided clasps to make it into a keychain. And so do I personally think that this box has value even with the $19 shipping for the licensing and because of the, the shipping, I don't know. I, I'm not the back end person here. I just know that when I see $19 shipping, I know wowza. But the value of the items in the box is 100% well over the $40 that you pay for the actual box and licensing and official Disney stuff. Again, not affiliated, not sponsored. I did give my feedback. Sticky bottles are unpleasant. Let me know in the comment section below, are you a huge fan of Disney? Is this something that would appeal to you? Do you think that there's things that they can improve on? Let me know, I am really interested in your input. Since many of us have been spending way more time online than normal, it is the perfect opportunity to tell you about today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. For those of you who don't know what a VPN is, it's pretty much there to help protect your identity online, among many other cool features. Some of my favorite features on Surfshark VPN include the hack lock system, which notifies you in case your email address or password get hacked or leaked, and the fact that you can multi-hop, which means it's a lot harder to trace your location. I personally use VPNs in order to be able to shop online as a local from the US. As a Canadian grain, sometimes I'm blocked from seeing certain products. But nothing escapes the salt. My other favorite way is since I used to travel to Japan and then come back here, some of my shows on Netflix, I can't finish them. So by using Surfshark VPN, I can access my shows and continue them where I left off. And of course, when you sign up to Surfshark VPN, you can use it in unlimited fashion and they have an amazing 24 seven customer support service. I had to use their service and it was wonderful. The response and professionalism was very nice. So make sure that you use the code NERDYCRAFTER so that you can get an 85% discount and three extra free months. The link will be in the description box below. Thank you Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video.
If you want to watch a previous review, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video of a tutorial that I haven't done in three years, make sure you check down here. It's 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 not gonna happen. I'm never gonna do tutorials again. So if you want to watch this video, that is the last time it's ever. It's not gonna happen again. Finito. I will see you guys in the next video.